In the vast panorama of art, there are works that not only delight the eye but also transport us to worlds of mythology and fantasy. One such painting is Echo and Narcissus, a masterpiece from 1903 created by the English artist John William Waterhouse. This piece immerses us in Greek mythology, offering a unique vision of the tragic love story between Echo and Narcissus, as narrated by Ovid in his Metamorphoses. Waterhouse, known for his pre-Raphaelite style and fascination with classical and literary themes, gives us a visual interpretation of the legend of Echo and Narcissus. In Ovid's version, Narcissus, the beautiful son of the river god Cephissus and the nymph Liriope, rejects the love of nymphs and women who fall at his feet. Among them is Echo, a nymph who can only repeat the words of others. Torn apart by rejection, Echo fades away until only a whisper of her existence remains. The goddess Nemesis, moved by her pleas, condemns Narcissus to fall in love with his own reflection in a pool. Narcissus becomes ensnared by his own image until his death, giving rise to the flower that bears his name, the Narcissus. In Waterhouse's painting, we find Narcissus lying by a stream, absorbed in his own reflection. Clad in a red robe symbolizing his burning self-desire, Narcissus is blinded by his own beauty. Across the stream, Echo watches in despair, unable to capture the attention of her beloved. Symbolically separated, their postures reflect the pain of unrequited love. The idyllic landscape, adorned with yellow irises and white narcissi, provides a backdrop to this tragic scene of desire and despair. The painting, first exhibited at the Royal Academy in 1903, now forms part of the Victorian collection at the Walker Art Gallery in Liverpool, England. Through Waterhouse's work, we delve into the fascinating world of mythology, where love and desire intertwine in an eternal dance of beauty and tragedy.